And right there, hearing from the governor, we did actually hear from someone else that is a part of uh, Springfield earlier today. And she said that next week they're going to have a special session in Springfield. And she wanted to make sure that she brought up, uh, you know, gun control in our state. So we'll have to see how that unfolded. Let's go to Casey Cronus now. She is live at the scene and will give us an update on exactly what's unfolding there. Casey. Yeah, I want to give you a look right away at what's going on behind us here. FBI SWAT members are on the ground at Renaissance Place and Green Bay Road. We see several members here of this tactical team with FBI on their vests. They just gathered here outside of a construction site for what looks like it is going to be an apartment building. Earlier, we saw a SWAT member up on the, uh, the top floor of this construction site, walking around, monitoring the downtown area from above. We are just about a block from where all of this unfolded earlier today. Um, these SWAT members now dispersing throughout the area, and we want to let you know that when we got on the ground here, you know, there are checkpoints at every single intersection in the downtown Highland Park area. One of the officers told us that SWAT members are actively searching these buildings right now. As you know, they are still looking for the shooter. We do know from that 2 p.m. press conference that the gun was some type of assault rifle, some type of military rifle is what uh, what officials said. Um, we want to give you a look here. It looks like several more police SWAT members are just getting to the area. It's unclear if they are, uh, you know, going into more buildings or if they just left from searching buildings, but there are several here on the ground right now. You'll see in just a second here, two members on the back of a truck heading toward this scene here. Very, very active scene. Lots of businesses. People are asked to shelter in place. We are seeing several people in their apartment buildings looking out the windows. Police are asking not to do that. Just stay inside. They just want to make sure everyone remains as safe as possible as again, the gunman is still on the loose. Tia. See, and I do think that it's very important that we give a description of the shooter that law enforcement is actively looking for. We know he is white. Uh, he is between the ages of 18 and 20 years old with long hair, last seen wearing a blue shirt. Still very vague, but you just never know who may come across him uh, this afternoon as law enforcement is actively looking for this person. Um, again, what we've learned since all of this has unfolded, that gunman, uh, described as being discreet on a rooftop as this parade was just passing on by. They said it was very hard to see him on, a gr on the ground, and we know a gun was recovered. Again, law enforcement working through a massive scene of exactly where this shooting happened, a massive scene in that location. All right.